All right, so instead of having my computer outside of my desk to keep it cool, I've decided to push it back in and no longer use it as a desk for coffee, or Kleenex, whatever. And to do that, I decided to use a box fan. So without further ado, let's rip it apart. I've taken apart the um, plastic casing. Not very difficult, just four screws. Um, and then also some on the back as well. Uh, AC plug. This is the uh, actual motor that spins the fan. There's a potentiometer of three different settings and off. And I've decided to keep the back casing, the plastic piece on the back um, from this, just to try to make it look cleaner on the inside. It may actually help me mount it on the inside of my desk here. If you can see closely, it's already been marked for the center of it. This is a nine inch fan again, so hopefully that'll give me about two inches clearance from the bottom and some from the top. Sawdust will happen, so put a cap on your beverage. All right, so I got one half down, another half to go. I reached inside and I pulled out some of these little uh, flaked off bits from the inside. The laminate kept the particle board together, so it kind of looks like uh, bullet holes. <sighs> Finally. All right. So I'm now lo I'm looking at the stator of the uh, fan and uh, this back brace is what holds it on. I've removed it with the two screws on the side there and I'm looking to use two of these three holes. The big ones where the stator brace latched on as you just saw right here and also this hole right here. Uh, measured out ab about halfway. I'm not too exact on it as long as I get this, uh, these crosses right here are where the holes are going to be. As long as I get those the same on uh, both pieces of an aluminum um, braces, then I'll be okay. Uh, the nice guys at the hardware store cut them up for me, and, and hopefully they don't wobble too much. They feel pretty stiff, um, and hopefully they don't won't vibrate or wobble too much. So here's a problem. I was expecting this brace that came with the motor to be flush as you can see that the nut goes through it and there's a small flange and then the metal piece that I've got in there and then the rest which barely leaves enough room for the uh, sorry to focus that um, other end doesn't have enough room or enough clearance for the actual nut to screw onto the other end so I think I'm gonna have to file down on this side um, the flange and then hopefully it'll sit flush with the aluminum brace that I've got and then that will allow this to stay stable right here because right now it can slosh back and forth quite a bit with the added extra I don't know two three millimeters that I've added alright I want to show you what I've got here after whittling down the uh, left side it's uh, now somewhat flush with the uh, rest of the piece On the right side you still have about another uh, two millimeters of metal I haven't touched yet. All right, before we go any further, I'll show you. After mounting this, found out this precision fit piece just doesn't want to turn. The uh, stator is perfectly aligned and, and I went and uh, filed down the inserts on this piece so I could get it flush and these holes aren't perfectly matched up. This thing can go up and down but but if I try to tighten these screws down anymore this rotor won't turn at all and sometimes if I adjust it can turn easily um, I think I might just try to mount it with the plastic backing piece that I saved over here I don't know how I'm gonna do that um, there's two mounting screws on here as you can see so hopefully I can utilize that instead glad I held on to this actually so we'll see this this idea has got to be scrapped because I don't want it to uh, burn up just because I didn't align something correctly also one last thing to mention is the uh, pilot hole that I drilled right here for the uh, control knob wires it's got four leading into it and two leading out 
All right, so here's a fan blade right before it's about to be mounted. Uh, I've got my pilot holes drilled on all my uh, aluminum struts. You can see the hip tensioner hanging off down here at the edge, and uh, this guy flows pretty well. This is what it looks like so far. I went sideways with the beams because apparently the um, fins spin a little bit easier when the bars are horizontal as opposed to vertical. All right, so you can't see very well back here. Um, but the top bar was the first bar that I installed so that I could hang the weight off of it and see how the uh, fan blades could actually turn. Alright, here's the final design. So, I decided to scrap the idea of having the aluminum struts flush with the motor. As you can see, I've used a half inch nylon spacer there to uh, avoid hitting the bracket. And I didn't want to put the aluminum struts underneath that bracket because the motor is precisely aligned and any amount of tweaking that I did was unable to get it to roll this smoothly. And that's key because, I mean, even if you've got a fan blade on there, you can spit it with your finger. The actual electricity is not going to be able to have uh, any effect on it. It'll just make a buzz noise and probably blow up or something. But, uh, yeah, it just can't generate enough torque on its own. So, here's my final design. This actually helps a little bring the fan blades back which will be nice so that I can fit this grill on top of it and this grill I'm trying to make flush with the desk so hopefully when everything's said and done the blades won't hit this grill here it is I showed you the other side but it's already too dark but it spins nice and smooth and that'll go on flush so I gotta pull the switch through that little hole right there hook it up to the front panel here and then I'm done Hopefully I don't get electrocuted this time. Alright, I've got my pot screwed in. So now I can put on my uh, knob right here. And turn it left and right and turn it on and off. Um, that'll actually help me position the actual grate on it because, as you can see, that knob will stick through and sort of guide me into uh, placing it. The screws on the other side. I'm, I'm still not sure how I'm going to line them up exactly. I've got four to place. Or maybe six, I can't remember. Right, here it is. I've got the uh, faceplate screwed on, front half of the fan's case. My knob fits okay, it still turns nicely. And um, if you do this, make sure that you measure twice, three times, as many times as you can before you put this on. I nearly made Swiss cheese out of this panel here, just trying to make the uh, screw post on the back of this case match up. So be careful with that. On the back side, this is about uh, half an inch standoff from the uh, black case here to the wood panel. The metal bars are secured tightly. The wires run up through the hole here for the control knob and then this is the AC power. I've screwed in a uh, cable tie here that actually came with the fan so I figured I'd use it. It goes back to my hole there and plugs into the wall. Alright, let's take it for a spin. The first setting I'm going to try is low. And mind you, this is a uh, personal box fan. Uh, that feels really good. And that's low. I don't think I'll need more than that. But let's see what medium sounds like. Mm, not quite a motorcycle yet. Hi. Way too loud. Sounds like it's about to fall apart. I'll probably keep it on medium or low. Actually, probably low. <laughs> that thing is way too loud much louder than a regular case fan, but at least four times better. Also, in case you're wondering, this is how much clearance I've got on my computer is sitting right next to it. It's actually um, quite a bit of space in there since I took the walls off and I uh, actually took both side panels off to let it breathe as much as possible. So the whole idea was getting this thing back into the desk and not in the middle of my living room and uh, I think it works fairly well. Alright, so one final thought. Um, low is definitely going to be the most I'll ever need. I'm going to zoom in. That's fairly loud, but I used to go to sleep to the sound of a box fan next, next to my bed, so I don't mind. I'm going to place my hand under here. It's ice cold. I, don't, I mean, my computer's idling right now. It probably doesn't need the fan on when it's like this, but I don't ever see myself going any higher than low. Maybe if 
I'm running a really high-end video or game or something, but uh, I'm pretty happy the way it turned out. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video.